my Capricorn. This is a general reading for the sign of Capricorn. Oh, spirit, that's way too many right off the bat. This is a general reading for the sign of Capricorn. If you have Capricorn anywhere in your birth chart, this is your reading. It is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. You know what is for you and what is not for you. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Capricorn. What would you like Capricorn to know or to be aware of during this reading or for this reading? Wow, that one popped out. Ooh, and look, I love that. It's a good card to pop out for you, Capricorn. A little bit about how my readings work. Um, this first row, that top row there that you see is your work life, your professional life, your public life. The second row is your private life, your home life. Many times in that, in that first row, um, bosses will show up in their uh, professional relationships will show up there. Um, if you're going to school, school will show up in there. Um, how you invest or use your money will show up there. In your second row here, um, family, friends, home life, um, maybe some private investing. Um, money has a tendency to show up all over the place. Just kind of like love has a tendency to show up all over the place. And the third row here is final thoughts, final messages. And many times that is maybe bringing together um, what it is that spirit would like you to know, what spirit would like you to be aware of, and bringing together your professional life and bringing together your home life. Thank you, spirit. Messages for the sign of Capricorn. Thank you, spirit. And the foundation, the basis of this reading is walking past a closed door, a missed opportunity, not seeing something, feeling left out in the cold. And that is driven by the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is really the ultimate gratitude card and really appreciating what it is that we have. And let's see how that five of pentacles plays into the rest of your reading this week, Capricorn. And, you know, before we forget, usually at the beginning of the reading, we'll do um, these uh, intuition cards and practice using our intuition. This week, I'd like to do something a little bit different and pull a card at the end of the reading and reveal the card at the end of the reading. Thank you. Spirit messages for the sign of Capricorn. And we start off with this page of wands. And it's slow moving, getting ready to take the first step getting ready to start something new, a new journey, a new adventure. And then we have the Four of Cups, the gift, a gift, spirit presenting a gift, a gift coming in that maybe we're not appreciated of or not, we're not seeing, that we're not looking at. And then we have strength the wisdom and knowledge within us. We have what it takes to do and accomplish what it is that we would like to accomplish. And then we have the celebration card. The celebration card. Public gathering, public celebration. Capricorn, maybe you are receiving a promotion or being offered a new job or maybe a different opening or a different position at the same 
organization or with someone that you have worked with in the past. And this promotion, this new job, this new business is re is includes some sort of public recognition. Being in the public eye. There's definitely a big thumbs up, a big recognition from those that you work with. Um, co-workers, family, friends, anyone that you have come in contact with or everyone that you have come in contact with is going to want to congratulate you, is going to want to work with you. And this is a direct result of the work that you have put in. Yes, there's advancement and recognition here for you. And congratulations from everyone that knows you, both in your work and in your private life. This has really been something that you have worked hard to achieve and you will be recognized for that achievement. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles, which is the happy ever after. This is the emotional fulfillment. And the Nine of Pentacles, um, the banquet table has been set. Everything is there. Everything is ready for the feast. And look at you have all of these cups in your private life, in your home life. And then we have the King of Cups. Emotionally and spiritually fulfilled. Mastering our thoughts, mastering, look at all of these cups, when we see the king and queen of cups here, that is a matched set, that is a masked, or a matched pair. And so I see a matched pair here. Happily ever after, emotional fulfillment, the banquet table is set, ready for the feast, ready for the gathering. And we have the matched pair with the king and queen of cups. What we do want to be mindful with when we see the King and Queen of Cups, although they are a matched set, they have two very distinct personalities and two very different, distinct ways of handling their thoughts and handling their emotions and even handling their spirituality. And so, while the King of Cups may have a tendency to be more guarded and more protective, and if we look, we can see his crown, or his throne is on an island. And many times when I'll see this card, I'll say that no person is an island unto themselves. And so it's almost like they cut themselves off from their feelings, from their thoughts, and from their emotions. And they keep them separate. And then when we look at the Queen of Cups, we can see that the Queen of Cups 
she is really not on an island. If we look at the water there, we can see she's even got her toe in the water where she is experiencing and she is expressing her thoughts, her feelings and emotions. And so I really believe what Spirit is really wanting us to look at and really be mindful of is that while we may be a pair, we may be a couple, we may be together, there is very distinct differences in how each of us is expressing and experiencing our thoughts, feelings, and emotions. And it's going to take a clear understanding of how each of us approach using or not using our thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Uh, Capricorn, do not be tempted to withhold your opinions or withhold your emotions. How other people react is their issue, not your issue. And so the only thing we can do is express what it is that we are feeling, express what it is that we are thinking, and let the other person manage how that is accepted, how that is received. The issue here may not be your issues. They may be the issues of the other person, but the other person does need to be aware how you are experiencing And many times, if we share our own personal experiences and how those experiences affect us, it can be helpful to others involved in gaining a better understanding of the relationship dynamics and how we interact. And then that is followed here, final thoughts, final messages, the nine of wands, putting in the work, putting in the hard work, knowledge, wisdom, understanding, moving to the future, getting ready to take a step into the future, and a pivotal point, a turning point, a turning point, a pivot point. It, why these, why that five of pentacles shows up here, I do not know, but do not miss an opportunity. There is an opportunity here for you to share. An opportunity for you to share. That is the pivotal pivot point, the turning point in a relationship here or in a connection here. And Spirit is wanting you to know it is completely up to you on what you believe and how you choose to believe it. I think that you are ready for a new adventure and you are ready to start a new chapter in your life. And it, the pivot point, the turning point, the missed opportunity could be the not sharing that, not sharing your thoughts, not sharing your feelings, not sharing your experiences with those that are closest to you. Please do share. You are ready for this grand adventure. And leave it up to the other person if they are up to the grand adventure or not. 
And before we end, let's go ahead and practice using our intuition. I'm just going to give these cards a push shuffle. And so again, if you've been watching for a little while, Capricorn, this is a little bit different. And I'm going to draw one of these cards. Oh, and I love this card. And so are you thinking of a card? Were you able to uh, connect with the squiggly lines? If not, again, like I say every week, it's about practice, not perfection. And sometimes when I see this card, I also think of Aquarius. I don't know, maybe you are dealing with an Aquarius in your life, so that is confirmation. Or maybe you are really becoming the great humanitarian that you were meant to be. And that is the message that I have for the sign of Capricorn. Thank you, Capricorn. Have a